final action for the city of Monasco and Mayor Council will be Thursday, October 10th, 2013. Um, agenda item number four, CU 2013-03. Staff, if you please present this request. Yes, sir. This is a conditional use permit request by Brian and Lori Colbert um, to establish a small event center and CC zoning. Property is located at 1110 North Patterson Street. This is just over a half acre of land. It is on the west side, second lot south of West Ann Street. This is sort of up in the southern part of the VSU campus. It is in the city's local historic district. It is also in the North Patterson National Register Historic District. Um, as you can see on the zoning map on the screen in there in the packets, there's a lot of commercial zoning along Patterson Street, particularly along the west side. Um, but there is not very much commercial development in this immediate area. It is dominated by the large historic homes, um, many of which have been converted to professional offices, although some remain as residences, um, which would include the central property um, and also across the street. Um, in the area view, you can see sort of the rooftops of the old turn of the century era homes. Um, and then some of the parking lots associated with the issue property to the north. Subject property is a large, um, very nice historic home, um, two-story. And then surrounding properties, you see some of the other historic buildings, as well as a few commercial properties up adjacent to the VSU campus area, and would include a gas station and the offices of WALB next door. Um, a site plan, they are wanting to, as we discussed at the work session, essentially propose a miniature version of the Crescent. A small event center, um, host weddings, <coughs> Christmas parties, baby showers, things of that nature. But given that their home is not all that large, um, these events would not be uh, particularly large, like can be accommodated at the Crescent. Um, they're proposing to keep the existing one-way driveway that sort of circumnavigates their home back to Patterson. The existing drive onto the alley to the rear would be enhanced with an addition of a little bit more paving to try and add some parking to the site. Um, they are proposing a total of 10 parking spaces. There is room for more on the site, but they do not wish to pave their entire backyard. It would detract from the property, and staff agrees with that sentiment. Um, but that being said, event centers um, can attract a sizable group of people. Um, parking is very limited here. 10 parking space limits them severely. And so it, with some discussion, they are supposedly looking for some shared parking agreements on properties nearby. Um, possibilities would include the WAB property to the north, and also the Renner Hall firm to the south, which have existing parking lots. If these uses were to operate at different hours, then the potential for shared parking is there. Um, staff, of course, review this. The conditional use review criteria, uh, Terry, are there in your packet. We are recommending approval of that, subject to a series of conditions, and there are five of them. Number one, conditional use approval shall be granted for a small event center in the name of the applicant only for the use of the existing building based upon the Senate conceptual plan. Any on-site commercial cooking facility shall be used for the events only or otherwise for general catering purposes. Number two, hours of operation shall be limited as 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday for state holidays. Number three, on-site parking shall consist of at least 10 spaces, be located on paved surfaces, and limited to the rear yard only. The existing loop drive along North Harrison Street shall be maintained as one-way traffic flow, with also one-way exit onto the rear alley. Off-site parking may be shared from adjacent properties as stipulated by written shared parking agreements and approved by the city. The rear parking area shall utilize outdoor lighting as specified by LDR section 222-10. Number four, total facility occupancy shall be limited to no more than three persons per approved parking space, but not to exceed the occupancy assigned by the fire marshal. Um, so in other words, with 10 spaces on site, that equates to 30 persons maximum. Number five, conditional use approval shall expire after three years from the date of approval if no business license for the event center is requested and approved by that time. We talked about this at pretty good length of the work session. I'll be glad to address any more questions you might have. <coughs> we did have the conditions yeah. Right, and those were emailed to you right afterwards, and you got them in front of you today as part of the handouts. All right, are there any questions from the staff? If 
from commissioners. Okay. I thought those were handed out right before the meeting. Yes, go ahead. The uh, parking, that, that, that bothers me. It's not necessary. If you look, um, the condition number four is um, a formula that is uh, occupancy equal or maximum occupancy equal, equal to no more than three persons per approved parking space. Mm -hmm. So if they keep the 10 on site, that equates to 30. If they can find 10 more that's approved as shared parking off site, then they go from 30 to 60. And it, it would be a posted occupancy um, that fire marshals can inspect at any time, okay. and they are held to that. Okay. And that's not just attendees, but it includes workers. Um, so it's incumbent on them to try and increase it as much as possible. Chair parking is allowed without special review or approval when it's adjacent properties. When you start going across the street or down the street, that requires a variance. Um, there are two adjacent properties that have paved parking lots. And in our discussions with them, that's why we had mentioned the WALB property and the Bennett Law Firm, because those are eligible. Um, not that they have to participate, it is simply between the property owners to work out those details. But it would help the applicant in boosting the allowable occupancy of this property. So right now it'll be third. Correct. Yes, sir. Have you got any uh, information on that, Jason? I have not heard from the applicant that they have been successful. Um, <coughs> they are here to address that. Uh, we did have one of the surrounding property owners come to our office to examine the file for the request. And as of that time, this was last week, um, there had been no agreement for shared parking. Any last questions for the staff from the commissioners? All right, there being none, I will now um, <coughs> ask if there's any, anybody in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request. Please throw out your name and your address for the I'm um, Brian, Brian Colbert. This is my wife, Lauren Colbert. The owner of 1110 North Dynasty Street. Um, don't have much more to add that Mr. Martin uh, already presented other than the parking. We, we knew that all along that the parking was one of our biggest obstacles. <coughs> we do not have an agreement, but we do understand that if we want to increase uh, the capacity of, our, of the event center, we would need to have that shared parking agreement, which we're, I guess we've had some preliminary discussions with one of our neighbors about, about that. We just don't have anything in writing as of now. Man, yeah, is, yeah, man, questions will be. Man, is that agreement anything? Does that have to be on file with you or anything? Yes, sir. Because we're the city will establish the occupancy load limit for the building, and that's something we'll have, to have on file. Are there any questions for the speaker from the commissioners? Yes, Mr. Bunn. Sir, uh, do it seem like you're gonna? The positive, negative, yes. how's it done? The, the, the neighbor that we spoke with was positive, yes. Okay. The one thing that bothers me is it says for sale to the public. So is it going to be, um, you know, do you make goods for sale to the public? Is that going to be a, you know, a large thing? Is it going to be a lot of, generate a lot of traffic in and out? Who knows? I know, but I, I just didn't know how far y'all were going to go. Well, with it. Condition of the bar can address that. That was one of the five uh, recommendations. Yes, yeah, so if you look at condition number one, 
It says conditional use approval shall be granted for a small event center in the name of applicant only for use of the existing building based upon the submitted conceptual plan. Any on-site commercial cooking facility shall be used for events only or otherwise for general catering. That was a concern that staff had as well. Um, with only 10 parking spaces and a narrow driveway, the property is not set up as a restaurant. That cleared my question. Otherwise, for the general catering purpose, that's your to the public would be through catering, not them coming in. And, okay, I'm that, that, that clarified. Any other questions from the commissioner? Uh, Mr. Chairman, did you find out, just kind of off the record, where uh, you want us to come by to check and make sure? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't <try. laughs> All right, we appreciate you, uh, you coming speaking on this request. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? I will now close the public participation portion of this request. <coughs> Discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will entertain a motion on this request from the commissioners. I'll make a motion. Ms. Nichols? Finding it consistent with the comprehensive plan and the conditional use review, recommend approval to the city council <coughs> with the following conditions that's stated in our updated package. We have a motion by Mr. Nichols and a second by Mr. Willis. Is there any discussion on this motion? There being none, um, all in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. The motion passes, passes unanimously. The, uh, the last item on the agenda.